Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here with Kaleidoscope who has fallen for the lure of the uh, devilishly soft human beds and has actually ended up spending the night in a human house despite the, that very much being something she absolutely would not want to do but you know with all of her wounds from the forest fire that she experienced last year uh, it turns out that human beds are just really soft and apparently there is an achievement for sleeping in three human beds so i thought that our lovely kaleidoscope here the heiress to generation six of the dark moon pack was actually going to be spending most of her time wandering in the deeper parts of the wilderness to get away from anything that had to do with the town anything that had to do with whispers of humans but it seems instead she is actually going to potentially be poking around some of the town or some of the houses to see if there are more beds to sleep in somewhere out there so we're gonna have to go ahead and call this we're gonna call this um glass bed because it's like a gigantic house made out of glass that also makes her feel a little bit leery <laughs> but yes welcome back my friends to generation six of the dark moon pack and the continuing beginning of kaleidoscope's adventures oh boy we've already got some wolves howling out there too don't we oh what's that down there is that like a waterfall okay we need to go check that out uh, as soon as I finish just taking a little peek, cliffs, hang on, Lost River, Sights, Big Bear, Bear Bear, uh, let's see, Bear Cliffs, that's so interesting, I wish I could read more of that, the American Fine Wines, okay, the kind of thing that you would expect people living here to read. I do want to investigate the inside of this house just a little bit because this world is so vast now. The land that this generation of our wonderful, like, dark and dawn moon packs have inherited is so much bigger than the past that I don't actually know if we're going to be back here. USA Forest photo album. I mean, these people have good taste if you ask me. Let's see. Here we go. Lost River Gazette evacuation. Hi! Mayor urges haste and calm. Who's to blame? Finger pointing begins. Oh, I'm gonna have to see if I can like really interpret some of that to get into the Lost River lore here. And then there's something in the bedroom. I'm just so intrigued by like all of these books we keep finding. I just wanna take a look at what this one is. What was that about wolves? It's about wolves. Little did they know. Okay, Callie, your 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 butt is kind of stuck in the air, but let's see. Wolf Recovery Project. Look, and it's a whole bunch of like of the little Wolf Quest wolf pups gathered around one of their parents. That is so cool. Their parents are wearing a collar. All right, that was totally worth going back for. But now that we've done that, let's get out of here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I actually think Callie would be freaking out right now like she literally is crashing into everything because it looked like you could actually go through that door and it was a glass door. So we're going to give this a good growl and maybe a good howl to show our utter disdain for this building. And then uh, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Oh my gosh. Okay, I wanted to follow an elk herd. Are you telling me there's collectibles here too? Oh my gosh, kaleidoscope. Finding a kaleidoscope of mystery maraca. There's, wait, there's a maraca? Her somehow finding a kaleidoscope of mysterious new items, even though she very much hates the humans, seems extremely ironic. There is a maraca. <gasps> I love that! Oh no, I love that. Oh, I have to keep it. I think that this, the, the kaleidoscopes, kaleidoscope contains a kaleidoscope of emotions in herself. Okay, this, I have to put it somewhere. Okay, we're gonna put it in the glass house because this is awesome. I am very happy to have stumbled upon a maraca. 
And I could see maybe Callie would end up with a mate who is like super curious. Okay, I don't. She wouldn't really like going back in the house. So I'll leave it right at the entrance. Who knows? Maybe Kaleidoscope is going to like find a really ridiculously silly mate. <gasps> or even better, imagine if the wolf pups could pick those up and start playing with them. Oh, I would just be so happy. All right, and there's an elk herd down here. So let's start heading down and maybe also finding some breakfast. Uh, if this bunny is still around, that would probably be quite the stretch though because its scent is over an hour old, but just in case. Wow, the rabbit jumped off that boulder. That's ridiculous. Oh man, and now I have moose. Okay, there is, there is a faint elk herd sent over here. So let's go ahead and try to follow it for just a little bit because maybe there will be an elk. Maybe there will be some elk fawns. Okay, doe mule deer. Probably way down here. Okay, so we're gonna spook the deer first which is not quite what I want unless they happen to have a baby with them, as awful as that sounds. Doe. Is that a fawn? Oh my gosh. It is a fawn. We're gonna have to go ahead and we're gonna have to try to make this kill. Even though it's gonna be a little tricky. Come on, come on. And we're gonna have to dodge mom. And we're gonna have to move fast because if you let these guys get too far away, Okay, move, 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 move. All right, Callie seems, I, I know it's probably just like completely in my imagination, but she actually seems like the more experienced hunter compared to Echo. Okay, come on, come on. Cause she's figuring out how to pace herself, how to make sure that she stays kind of calm and to take advantage of food resources when she can. We might have to just go ahead and take a kick or two from the mother. Nope, yes! All right. That is not the elk that we actually need to be discovering in order to go ahead and prove ourselves to potential wolf mates. But it is actually a tremendously solid meal for a very, very hungry wolf indeed. Crying out loud, Ravens, could you at least let me finish a little bit before you show up? Probably not. I do find the relationship... Oh, there we go. We were really hungry. And the ravens kind of took the last of it. Is that a dog? What is that? Did you see that? What is that? What is that? It's a dog! No way! Can we actually bite it? So it's running from us. But this would be like a really weird stranger to Callie. Like, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh. So she actually, just like her cousin, is running into a bunch of dogs too. But because they're also fellow carnivores, I don't think she would be tremendously interested. Oh my gosh, there's like a couch here. I love this. No, it's a bench. It's like a, a stone bench. No, it's a couch. It's actually a couch. It just looked like a stone bench for a second. Wow. I love this. Let's get away from the electric guitar buffalo like band and let's carry on like northeast, I guess, because I lost the scent of any of the elk and we are basically just trying to find where that potential food source could be because we need to prove ourselves for being able to do some hunting. Oh, there's a whole new land to explore, isn't there? This is amazing. I can't believe we found a maraca. <laughs> that just seems so funny to me because Callie really is the one who doesn't really wanna have much to do with humans. But as I was saying before, she is a kaleidoscope of thoughts and emotions as we all are and one of the things i have really been working with lately is being able to hold two conflicting emotions within my heart at once grief and joy being able to be very excited or very nervous 
those things can exist inside of our hearts and we can contain them if we are aware of them and we work hard to understand what we might be able to learn from or possibly be taught by with those things. And I think the kaleidoscope is not going to be as silly and not going to be quite as curious as her cousin, Echo. But I do think that a lot of her life, there's another fox, this time we didn't bite it. I do think that a lot of her life so far and possibly up ahead is going to be trying to hold conflicting emotions together. All right, let's see, am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going, oh, haha, -ha, that's, I was like, where'd the river go? Well, it's right here. That another bunny? Oh, I'm sorry, again with the biting of the foxes. You could have just yipped before we, we nipped, I suppose. If you don't yip, you get the nip, I suppose. Like, nah. Little, 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 little chomp. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. I really love, like, the leaves. I love how, how much, literally, as our generations of wolves have gone ahead and they have evolved, so too has the world that they actually get to inhabit. And I love it. Wow. So yes, the Kaleidoscope wants to have basically nothing to do. This one's actually a rabbit for once. With the the humans. But I think her curiosity, not an intense curiosity, but like a very specific curiosity of like, can I actually pick this item up and it makes noise? Or is this bed soft? Might lead her to go ahead and exploring there anyway. <sighs> what it is not going to lead her to apparently are the elk. So we can go ahead and prove ourselves to any potential mates that might be in the area. All right, let's keep going. Oh, it's this. The desolation pack? Boy. Uh, they have some really good <laughs> dispersal wolf pack names. And I am more than slightly curious to go ahead and try to meet some of them but not until we get a little bit established first. Being a more practical wolf than her cousin Echo, I think Kaleidoscope would be primarily concerned with just making sure that anywhere she goes and anything she does is backed up by a deep knowledge of the land. So even though she's not terrified of human things, but she's extremely distrustful and finds them vastly distasteful. So here is an even bigger danger path bigger danger there we go then these will just have to be our trail markers i suppose <laughs> and we might have to give up frog zone pretty soon we'll have to see she would just want to understand her environment and she most likely would definitely not want to have anything to do with staying a pink dinosaur excuse me there's a pink dinosaur mixed in with male wolves from the desolation pack and i was just smelling female wolves as well i could have sworn Oh, oh, oh. I think I saw it just for a second. Female dispersal wolves from the Calamity Pack. The Desolation and the Calamity Pack getting together? That sounds like trouble. That might be too many wolves for us to deal with right now, even if they do have a pink dinosaur. Oh, good, there's some elk over there. Oh, man. Okay, once again, I, I need to see... <sighs> It's that conflicting problem of Kaleidoscope's curiosity is kind of taking her in places she is not meaning to go. But how could I resist this? The comet missed one! Oh my gosh. How could you resist this? Yeah, I had to go ahead and get that one. That's just, that's too adorable. Okay. All right. What's maybe not so adorable is the fact that, um, Apparently, the wolf pack is like right over there. Did we steal their dinosaur? Did I just steal a dinosaur from a bunch of wolves? Huh. I, I kind of had to sit there for a second with that friends and um, just reflect on the fact that that is a sentence I never in my entire life could have dreamed of saying before. But here we are. Oh man, now I want to take this collectible to a safe place too. Because as much as the lost and the found, I wonder if that has something to do with all the stuff we're finding. Because as much as like, 
kaleidoscope doesn't want to be involved with like the humans i almost feel like she would have a compulsive need to keep up with like where the the human tracks and the human artifacts left behind are because i feel like she would want to know like okay we're gonna follow this for a minute okay so the elk herd's over here i might have to find a safe place to hide my dinosaur Maybe we need to loop back around to the... Okay, we're going to loop, loop back around to Big Danger Trail. Because we already have that marked. I think that's over here. Are we going the right way? No. <laughs> we're going to loop back around to the Big Danger Trail. And drop it off there. Right here, where we can find it again. And then we might even take a little nap because we're tired. Oh my gosh, did it make a squeaky noise when we picked it up? It did. All right, you guys, I'm telling you, Callie is not the kind of wolf who actually wants to go ahead and play with human things. She is not Ariel the Little Mermaid of the wolf pack collecting all the thingamajigs. She is, however, exceptionally suspicious. So she cannot help herself. Part of her way of finding peace with the mystery of what are these things and why are they here is actually going ahead and collecting them. Her story is taking a lot of unexpected turns and I cannot wait to see where we're gonna go from here. But for now, let's go ahead and let her rest for a while. And when we come back, we will resume our hunt searching for the elk that we need in order to go ahead and prove oh there's dispersal wolves oh boy okay are they gonna attack me huh well we're just gonna have to find out next time huh oh dear okay <laughs> well guys let me know if you think that those uh dispersal wolves happen to look pretty for kaleidoscope and i will see you guys next time Bye bye